Operation Flood, which ran from 1970 to 1996, is the world's largest dairy development program that transformed India from milk deficiency into the world's largest milk producer. Known colloquially as the White Revolution, the aim was to create a milk grid that connected rural, small-scale dairy producers to urban consumers through village-level cooperatives. District and national-level data from before and after the programme show that the growth in production has made milk increasingly available to consumers, providing an important source of nutrition for millions of people. Technical support was provided by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and the International Food Safety Standards of the UN's Codex Alimentarius underpin this remarkable social development, whose impact continues to grow almost 30 years after the Operation Flood program closed. The science-based standards of the Codex Alimentarius provide the basis for ensuring food safety globally. And this is a remarkable story and shows how Codex standards have had an impact on the dairy sector in India. Anand in Gujarat state is where the White Revolution really began in 1946, a year before the nation's independence, when a group of poor farmers formed a dairy cooperative to improve their livelihoods. The Anand Milk Union Limited, AMIL, continues to be a cooperative owned by the farmers. Amul, which started from here, has expanded across the world now. We are eighth largest in the world at this junction. In cooperatives in the entire Asia, we are number one. The remarkable success of Operation Flood was founded on a model called the Anand Pattern. This three-tier vertically integrated dairy cooperative model organizes smallholders into village-level dairy cooperatives, which are federated into district cooperatives and into state-level cooperatives that provide the interface with the state government's policy regulatory framework. The white revolution actually uh, led to the Amul model being replicated across the country. Talking about Amul, we are owned by 3.6 million farmers who live across 18,600 villages of Gujarat. They pour close to 10 billion litres of milk in a year, which we collect and market and the brand turnover is more than 8 billion US dollars. Now this brand is owned by these 3.6 million farmers. So you can imagine the power the white revolution has given to the farmers to own Asia's largest dairy brand and a brand which gives them promise to earn 80% share of the consumer's rupee day in and day out. The guaranteed return of 80% of the profits to local producers has meant that this once poor area is now showing signs of prosperity. Between 75 and 80% of the farmers within the cooperative system are marginal or landless farmers. However, locals are now investing in solar panels to power the water pumps that irrigate fields. And manure from cattle feeds new biogas plants that make cooking family meals smoke-free and healthier. Milk now provides 5% of India's GDP, with greater value than the nation's rice, paddy, wheat and pulses all added together. To maintain this, it's therefore crucial that the produce remains safe for consumption. India, you have the floor. And here, participation by India in key technical committees and the subsequent adoption of Codex standards, guidelines and codes of practice by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India or FSSAI, is proving to be crucial. Around 2012, uh, FSSAI undertook this exercise for harmonization of milk and milk product standards uh, established by the Codex. And about more than, I think, 125 Codex standards, guidelines, and the various practices, code of practices, which was formed uh, as the basis for, you know, harmonization effort which our country took. We are also monitoring the presence of various contaminants in the milk and milk products like you know you have pesticides residues or antibiotic residues so we have the uh, state-of-the-art laboratory here we monitor them and then from time to time we utilize this data 
to develop some of the comments that we can either share with FSSI or Codex. And with projections aiming for an expansion of the Indian dairy sector to provide 40% of global milk production within the next 25 years, food safety must remain of paramount concern. Consumers are now more worried about the hygiene when you talk about any food item. Indian dairy sector is perhaps one of the, uh, uh, you know, among the pioneers, uh, you know, in the world for adopting some of the HSCCP system, for example, in our dairy plants and managing the food safety. So I think the information guidance which is provided by the codex in general hygiene code uh, will form a basis for all these uh, issues going forward. We believe that our main product is not milk, it is trust. And the trust can come from the customers if the customer believes that the brand gives the best quality of the products and that quality comes from adherence of the highest quality standards. Trust begins by developing standards in an open and transparent manner and using the best available science. And this is how the Codex Alimentarius Commission develops its standards and will continue to do so whatever the future brings. In Hindi it used to say that Dood ki nehdiya means the milk rivers used to flow. That was the slogan of old days, our grandfather used to say that. And the operation flood is like that, still going strong, multiplying strong, exponentially. And along with the pace, uh, you know, with the technology, with the standards, with the, with the sustainability, the white revolution continues.